there are a number of things that we need to look at. Okay. The first one is, are the motor, the people who are riding the motorcycles, like uh, our friend here, are they properly trained? Mm. And if they are properly trained, are they all licensed? Mm -hmm. uh, do they go through a certain kind of regulations? The motorbikes themselves, do they go through certain specifications? Because you can't just use any motorbike at all if you have to use it on commercial purposes. And so we need to go through a number of things. First of all, educate the public, educate the users of it before we consider lifting it. You can't just say, because it provides jobs, I'm mm. going to lift the ban mm. just for the sake of it. You lift the ban, and the next thing you see is that we are going to have an escalation of accidents. Economically, uh, strong people are going to be dying. Mm. They are going to be crippled. And what will be the, the overall effect? You are trying to create jobs. In the end, we are killing our youth uh, in, in the country. So I would say that um, if we are considering lifting the ban on Okada, we have to proceed cautiously. Mm. We have to study the problems into detail, get experts involved, and come up with rules and regulations that will ensure that mm. the issue of accidents will be minimized. So for you, safety is still paramount? It is the underlying Safety factor. is the underlying issue. 